Hi, and welcome to Banana Jam Photography. My name is Cartes Ross, and today we're going to talk about what to wear on picture day. It's extremely important that you get this part right, because what you wear will have a dramatic effect on how your pictures turn out, whether it's good or bad. And lot of, lots of people don't realize the importance of wardrobe. And again, we're going to talk briefly about this in this presentation. I'm going to show you some great examples and some bad examples of what happens when you don't coordinate the wardrobe. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. And one of the first things you generally want to do is avoid wearing busy patterns um, on the photo shoot. Patterns can make you look 20 pounds heavier. They also tend to draw more attention rather than having the focus entirely on you, the family, or the children in the photograph. As you can see here, this is a beautiful photograph, beautiful picture. Um, in, in the background, you can see the beach, you see some sand, but unfortunately our eyes are instantly drawn to the lines that are on this young girl's shirt. And that's exactly what patterns do. They, they distract, they take attention away from. And if you're trying to, if you're submitting your photos for your children to some of the different modeling agencies or to some agencies so that they can get acting jobs, these scouts are looking for, well, matter of fact, one of the first things they want you to do is send headshots or portraits or pictures, a portfolio of your child. And the last thing you want them to do is be distracted. You don't want that person distracted while they're looking at your child's um, photographs or your photographs for that matter. So um, again, busy patterns. Patterns is a great way to cause distraction and you generally want to avoid that. Um, in the same similar background, you know, the same also ocean, um, water, beach. Um, but now you see how the, the, the family members are matching, they're coordinated, and the picture looks so much better. So now our focus is not on one individual or a particular garment, but it's on the entire family as a whole. And everything just comes together. Now, this doesn't happen on accident, this is planned. At Banana Jam Photography, our photographer, Kim Ross, will consult with you on wardrobe. She will either come out um, with you and go through your closets, look through your garments, and see what you all can coordinate. It's almost like an interview process. She wants to find out the purpose of your photo session, uh, find out your goals, what are some of the things you're trying to accomplish, and we will, or she will, um, discuss the different options available to make sure you have a magnificent, beautiful portrait session taken. Um, another set of family members here, as you can see, it's a beautiful picture. Unfortunately, everybody has a variety of colors happening here, different um, um, tones in the, in, the, in the texture and the material. And again, it's a beautiful picture, but it, it's just so distracting. You, your attention is really not focused on the entire family. You're almost looking at each of the individuals versus the whole family as a whole. Um, same thing here. Beautiful picture, great quality shot. But again, you here you have the little baby here with this bright yellow and blue, um, the mom, this red shirt, the dad, this plaid. And it, unfortunately, it's a great picture, but it can be much, so much more if the coordination just took place um, before the shoot. Again, this stuff doesn't happen on accident. You have to plan for a, a shoot. You, if you want the best possible shot, this thing has to be planned and set up from the start. Um, another thing you generally want to do um, is, is you want to avoid the big logos um, on shirts, as you can see here in the examples here. Um, logos here on the left-hand side, and you have another one on the right. Big wording on the shirt, numbers and stripes. Again, it just causes distractions. You don't want this. It's very distracting. If you're going to be spending a lot of money on getting the ultimate family portrait, you generally want to make sure it looks um, right. And um, of course, now there are some occasions where the rules can be broken um, and we specialize in that. So if you're looking for that unique look or feel, or if you're trying to accomplish a certain goal, we can help you out with that. 
And as you can see here in this photograph here, they have lots of colors going on, but it all works out. It works together. Everything is coordinated. Again, this didn't happen on accident. So if you want to have a great session, um, you know, like I say, make sure the photographer, whomever you hire is one that is willing to consult with you on wardrobe or one who's willing to help you put it all together so that way you end up with the best possible picture so that you can accomplish and or achieve your goals. Another little secret, a little tip I want to provide is some of the best shoots, some of the best photographs will happen on location or on site. In other words, it's going to happen outside of the studio. If you're just wanting a basic family uh, portrait or if you want a a, a session uh, trying to get a build a portfolio for your children or for yourself, you don't want to really do it in the studio. I mean, as you can see here, these are the types of pictures that everybody have just the regular background. There's nothing ooh ah about it. Just basic. And if you like I say, you can get some of your best stuff out of the studio. And so if there's a favorite park you have or some special place that has a sentimental values or reasons behind it, again, we can coordinate that and go out and take photographs on site um, at those places to give you the best possible picture. Um, as you can see here in this example, again, out of the studio, you don't necessarily have to stay in the studio. So if you want that uh, wow factor or the um, that amazing shot, then again, do consider doing it outside of the studio. And wherever you are at in the metro area, we are more than glad to come out and accommodate and shoot for you. And that's just, and again, just just another example here. And let me back up. Let me, let me jump back up to this picture here. And again, notice here back in the studio again how everybody really isn't coordinated. You have the dad wearing some browns and some stripes. The mom and the daughter um, is wearing some black. And then you have the the young child here in the white. So the, and then you combine that with the background, it just doesn't work. Um, you know, so just just keep that in mind. Now, in this hand, you know, she does have patterns, but again, like I say, rules can be broken. And as you can see here in this photograph, this actually works out just fine. Um, as you can see here in this picture here, uh, the children here are all coordinated. They all have on white shirts. Um, they all have on blue jeans. And the beauty, again, this is another great example of doing shots on location outside of the studio. It just makes for a better overall experience, a better photograph, and a better session. Um, well, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to contact us. Um, our website, of course, is www.bananajamphotography.com. The photographer, my wife, Kim Ross, I'm the supportive husband here. Um, she is more than glad to come out and consult with you, talk with you about planning the best possible session, um, whether it's for your family or if it's for your children or if you're trying to um, get some modeling gigs or, or, or acting gigs and want to build up your portfolio. Um, she can discuss the various options that are available to you. She knows what these talent agencies are looking for and your child needs to stand out if you're trying to go into that market and we have the ability or she rather has the ability to have the ability to um, pull out the, um, the the uniqueness that makes your child unique and that goes also for your family so if you're looking for some family portraits um, do consider banana jam photography Again, visit our website to get more information, www.bananajamphotography.com. Have a wonderful day.